flaunt my womanhood with a Y, I'm gonna do it by pulling a train car two miles at an equal or faster pace than my male counterpart. Or by baffling him in a tournament of wits, not by wearing a itty bitty titty bikini and doing a lap dance. Vag is the new black. Is that what I'm supposed to tell my four year old? This Miley Cyrus perpetuates an unrealistic and damaging view of uh, hypersexualized femininity. Oh, great. Well, if vaginas are a fashion statement, I guess I can wear my pubic hair as a <sighs> hipster accessory. You can wear your pubic hair however you want. Just don't make me an accessory to it. <laughs> In this solemn moment, we memorialize the death of natural beauty with the birth of another photoshopped image of unattainable female perfection. Now our next point of business is Joe's feminist response to her barista calling her ma'am. Hey, um, could we talk a little softer in here? Beauty queens of America next door are saying that their mirrors are shattering. Whoa. Excuse me, Anthony. Check your privilege at the door and try that again. Now that you are dressed in the jumpsuit of privilege neutrality, you may enter and offer your request. Thank you. My dear sisters. In this moment, we memorialize the death of natural beauty with the birth of another photoshopped image of unattainable female perfection. Those Barbie queens can go fuck themselves. You're just mad because they won't fuck you. I just don't understand why they don't come to our meetings every now and then. I mean, I told them we have gluten-free cookies. They're not feminists, Monica. Neither am I. You're not? Of course you are. You, you reject the patriarchy by being a successful blogger on feminist media. You, you delight in casual sexual partnerships with all human beings, male, female, cis, trans, so long as they surpass a six on your attractiveness scale. Sometimes a nine. And you don't really like, like anybody, therefore creating a truly egalitarian social circle. Well, I'm just saying that I don't have to be a feminist to enjoy all those things. Sharky doesn't like labels, unless they say American apparel or American spirit. I'm a patriot. Feminism just means having pride and self-confidence in yourself. And how many content self-actualized feminists do you know? No. We are warriors because we're discontent. Yeah, you're oversimplifying we the theory. We are 75% of the 99%. All I know is if I have to wear any sort of jumpsuit, I am fucking out. The jumpsuit of privilege neutrality teaches us that you can be empowered without just your pocketbook. Fine, Sharky. If you can't support the jumpsuit, maybe you should be out. You just want my share of the snacks. Food shaming. Food shaming! Oh, I love snacks. My name's Joe. I love, I love crunchy things. Snacks. Ah, 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 pirate's food. In this moment, we memorialize the death of natural beauty with the birth of another photoshopped image of unattainable female perfection. It's consuming us. Photoshop is everywhere, y'all. I saw one yesterday where they prematurely tapered Nicole Kidman's legs to make her look shorter, but they left off her feet. First they take away a woman's voice, now her feet. What's next? No. I mean us. Look at you two. I know that you have your Parks and Recs marathons, and I know that you went in on a jointly owned slip and slide. Where's the fun gone? It's here. Shut up, Anthony. Sorry. I just hear the constant schizophrenic nagging of my inner female voice piping up every single time I do anything outside of this feminist hovel. Yes! We gotta take the struggle to the street! No! What I'm saying is sometimes I watch toddlers and tiaras unironically. Sometimes 
I eat GMO weeded cookies. Sometimes I like missionary position. Sometimes I spend hours looking at Kim Kardashian's selfies. Sometimes I love to check out the bulge in my male friend's pants. And sometimes, sometimes I am driven mad by how much my period cramps hurt. Your prized Mother Earth fertility. Fuck that. Sometimes I wish I was a guy. That's deep. Monica, feminism needs you. God damn it! I am taking that clock down! No! no not the no. clock! It reminds us of our plight. Plight sucks! Come on. You guys, I just want to take a break. Just one day. Let's just go rogue. Just for one day. How do we do that? We... I don't get dirty. We get sexy. We get goddamn unempowered. So anti-anti-establishment, mm -hmm. that's sexy. You know, we have given our blood, sweat, and tears to make this world a better place for women, and we don't even get to enjoy it. I thought discontent was one of our things. That's the whole point. We are unthinging. Uh, women can do without us for one night. I don't know. Oh, come on, Joe. Grow some ovaries. When do we stop being symbols and start being people? What the hell? Let's <laughs> do this! Come on. Okay! Yeah! People! 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 Anthony, invite those Barbie queens. to write a feminist response op-ed to your letter yes, you explaining are. why every single thing you think is completely wrong. Completely, <laughs> completely and wrong. I am going to prepare the viral video, okay. uh, the Reddit feed, yeah. and then get ready for the rape threat. Oh my god! <laughs> So, um, I have this weird chafing from the pole dancing class. You I don't know. know. Do you guys have that? No, nope. they use Vaseline. They oh my God. say it. it could be herpes yeah. or bed bugs. No, it's an aluminum no, pole. It's just a you can't get bed bugs from metal. <laughs> 